Hey there, welcome back to Inner Light. Today, we have an intriguing topic to explore together. Have you ever wondered why so many people fear the number 13? Well, in this video, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of triskaidekaphobia, the fear of the number 13. As someone who's passionate about psychology, superstitions, and cultural beliefs, this topic really caught my attention. So let's get started and uncover the secrets behind this age-old fear. Number 1. Historical Origins Triskaidekaphobia isn't a fear that popped up recently. Its roots go back to ancient times. Throughout history, there have been numerous events and cultural references that associate the number 13 with bad luck. For example, the Last Supper, where 13 people were present, is often seen as a turning point leading to Jesus' crucifixion. Even Norse mythology contributes to this fear, with the mischievous Loki being the 13th guest at a banquet and causing chaos. These stories and beliefs have helped solidify the notion that 13 is an unlucky number. Number 2. Cultural Significance The fear of the number 13 has had a significant impact on various cultures around the world. It's remarkable how popular culture, movies, and literature have perpetuated this fear. Think of the iconic horror movie franchise, Friday the 13th. It has embedded the idea that Friday the 13th is an unlucky day, filled with sinister events. This cultural significance has seeped into our daily lives, affecting how we perceive and react to the number 13. Number 3. Psychological Explanations So why do we fear the number 13? Several psychological theories attempt to shed light on triskaidekaphobia. One explanation lies in our human tendency to seek patterns and assign meaning to numbers. We find comfort in order and predictability. But when it comes to the number 13, we perceive it as a disruptor, an omen of bad luck. Additionally, cognitive biases, such as confirmation bias, play a role in reinforcing our beliefs about the number 13, making us more prone to notice and remember negative experiences associated with it. Number 4. Societal Effects Triskaidekaphobia doesn't just remain a fear, it affects our behavior and decisions in various ways. Take a look at buildings and hotels. Many skip the 13th floor altogether, going from 12 to 14. Even airlines often avoid assigning the 13th row to seats. These examples demonstrate how businesses cater to this fear to ease people's anxieties. On a personal level, triskaidekaphobia can lead individuals to alter their plans, avoid certain activities, or make decisions based solely on the avoidance of the number 13. Number 5. Overcoming the Fear Now, let's discuss how we can overcome the fear of the number 13. If triskaidekaphobia affects you or someone you know, there are practical strategies to help combat it. One technique is exposure therapy, gradually exposing oneself to the feared number and associated situations. Another approach involves cognitive reframing, where we challenge our irrational beliefs and replace them with more rational thoughts. Remember, critical thinking and rationality are powerful tools to combat unfounded fears. In conclusion, we've explored the mystery behind why so many people fear the number 13. From its historical origins to its cultural significance, we've learned how triskaidekaphobia has influenced our lives. Psychological explanations and societal effects have shed light on the fear's prevalence and impact. But fear not. With the right techniques, we can overcome our fears and live more empowered lives. I hope this video has been informative and eye-opening for you. If you've enjoyed this exploration into triskaidekaphobia, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating discussions like this. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this topic. Have you ever experienced triskaidekaphobia or known someone who has? Let's start a conversation in the comments section below. Don't forget to share this video with others who might find it intriguing. Before we wrap up, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for being a part of our community. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. If you have any suggestions for future video topics, feel free to let us know. Remember, facing our fears and understanding the roots behind them can empower us to live more fulfilling lives. So let's challenge those superstitions and embrace the number 13 with confidence and curiosity. Thank you once again for joining me today. Stay curious, stay courageous, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.